you know, Kathy Wagenthal has introduced a private member's bill that she describes as seeking to prohibit sex-selective abortion. Sexual rights experts say that it is virtually impossible to do that because no one can know what's inside another person's head when they make the decision to seek an abortion. Instead, the option is to, the only option uh, to actually achieve that is to make it harder to access abortion writ large. You've said in the past that you're pro-choice. You just said it again now. Um, will you tell your shadow cabinet to oppose this bill? Thank you, Rachel. As I said in French, um, as you know, I'm, I'm pro-choice and I will be voting against this private member's bill. Um, I will always, as Prime Minister, defend the rights, uh, the human rights of all Canadians, including women, to make this decision for themselves. I've been crystal clear on that and will be as Prime Minister. But the one thing you're not being crystal clear on is uh, how you'll, uh, whether you'll direct your cabinet, your shadow cabinet, when it comes to this vote. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, do you not think that calling yourself pro-choice carries a responsibility to ensure nothing your party does strips the rights of others to make the choices that they decide are best for them? Yes, being pro-choice means I will defend that right and there will be no law passed that will restrict the rights of of Canadians. Um, just following up on the same uh, issue, how do you expect Canadians to believe your party is inclusive and appeals to women when your party is putting forward bills like this one? As I've said, um, I'm a pro-choice member of Parliament, was elected leader of the Conservatives in that fashion. I will always defend the rights of all Canadians and focus on their prosperity. That is my relentless focus. There is freedom of speech of all members of parliament, including with private motions and bills. Well, uh, your leader is holding a press conference at the same time, and he just said that he's going to be uh, voting against your bill, so I'd like to have your reaction to that. First of all, um, thank you for the question, and uh, I, I want to say that I am so privileged and humbled to be part of the Conservative Party of Canada and to be uh, playing a role within our government. In our party, uh, we are very specific to the fact that we have the privilege to present our private members' bills the way that they should be presented in the House. And that's why I brought this forward today, because I want to represent what the majority of Canadians are concerned about. And along with that opportunity that we have uh, in our party to bring forward private members' bills, we also uh, uh, really enjoy the opportunity within our caucus to challenge each other and to debate absolutely everything uh, that comes before us. As well, we have the opportunity and the privilege to vote our conscience. So, number one, that's why I uh, am very honoured to be part of the, the uh, Conservative Party of Canada. And I respect my leader's uh, opportunity to make his choice as much as I do mine. And at this point in time, I will say that this bill reflects the views of the majority of Canadians and as well is reflected in absolutely every party uh, that sits within the House of Commons. Uh, there has been a poll done that uh, asked the very question, if this was part of your platform, would you support it? And specifically, uh, of course, our party had very strong support. The Liberals were over 50% at 51% of those who voted Liberal in 2019, and as well the Bloc had 61%. So this bill is coming forward not just uh, representing uh, Canadians in general, it's representing across the country and all political parties. So over one year ago, I had the privilege of tabling my second private member's bill in as many terms as a member of Parliament. I introduced C-233 in response to Canada's lack of a legal framework respecting sex-selective abortion to respond to the wishes of a clear majority of Canadians who would like to see it made illegal and to honour our core values as a country. Above all, I'm bringing this bill forward in defence of pre-born Canadian girls and boys who are aborted simply due to their sex. Sex-selective abortion is a persistent and overlooked form of gender inequality deserving urgent attention and a concerted legislative response. If enacted, C-233 would amend the Criminal Code of Canada to make it an offence for a medical practitioner to perform an abortion knowing that the abortion is sought solely on the grounds of the child's genetic sex. It would also require 
the Federal Minister of Health in consultation with provincial counterparts responsible for health to establish guidelines respecting information provided by a medical practitioner in relation to a request for an abortion.